This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is Windows 10 Preview. This is the technical preview. This is actually available if you wish to download it now and you're feeling adventurous. It is about 4 gigs. I found the installer a little bit cranky. I had to try it a couple of times before it went all the way through, but hey, it worked in the end. And we're using the Toshiba Click 2 Pro, which is a 2-in-1 convertible with a full HD touchscreen. Now, What's really changed here for, for right now, and this is a work in progress, probably we won't see the release version of Windows 10 until the fall of 2015, but mostly it's bringing back the start menu. That's the changes we see so far, and technical preview will be a work in progress, so we may have further updates in the coming months as more things get changed or added on. But mostly this is for those of you who love your Windows 7 and you want Windows whatever we got to call the next version, it is Windows 10, to, well, act more like Windows 7. And that's what Microsoft's done here. So the start menu is back. You tap on the Windows key or you tap the Windows key on your keyboard and here it is. So much more like what we're used to for Windows 7 right there with the live tiles tacked on the side right there. And you can control which ones are there. Say I don't want wild tangent games there. Just right click on it. Unpin from start. I could also pin it to the taskbar if I wanted to. So we've got a selection of recently used and common used programs here. We have all apps as well. Now notice these things are bigger, they're more finger friendly. They might even need to be a little bit bigger to be more finger friendly, but it gets the job done. So say we want to add something else here. We want to put Kindle over here. Just drag it on there. Now, notice how it dynamically, whoop, grab the wrong thing, but notice how it dynamically resizes. It'll do that. And you should also be able to grab around the corners here and make this bigger or smaller, though I'm not finding that that's working so well right now in this edition. Let's try adding another app there so we can see how resizing works. Say we want to throw IE there, and there it goes. It automatically resizes. And if you, sometimes these things have live updates just like when this took up the whole screen. If you want a different tile size, you can choose a different tile size. Here's resize right here. So say I want small or medium. Some will have larger options because there's something going on. For example, like news makes sense because you see stuff that's going on. For those of you who really actually like the full live tile screen, and Microsoft says that different devices are going to get different treatment here by default. So even though this is a two-in-one tablet, if we boot this one up just as a tablet only, it's still giving us booting to the desktop in this kind of look, but who knows what they might set as default. But you can go to control panels and actually set your preference to go to straight live tile if you want. So here's what the PC Explorer looks like. Control panels is actually an option right up here by default right now. Now, if you switch contexts, by the way, say you go to documents, it changes the view contextually up here of the things that you can do. Notice that. So anyway, we're going to go back to this PC. We're going to go to control panel. And then we're going to taskbar and navigation. And navigation is where you can see the option here. See, right now it's... It's set to actually go straight to desktop when I hit the Windows key or close all programs. So you can actually change that if you want. And you can show start on the display instead, the old style start menu, if you wish to, when you hit the Windows key on the keyboard. We're going to leave it the way it is, though. And yes, the charms bar is still here. You can trigger it using your cursor if you want. Since this is a touch screen, it's much easier to do it that way. That really hasn't changed so much. Things like settings right now look largely the same as they did before. Of course, again, Microsoft may change some of this, add or remove functionality, but this is interesting right here. we got control panel. That's something new that you can just pull right up from the charms bar. Yay, the old-fashioned control panels we all know, love, or at least know how to use. This does not come with IE 12, the next version of IE yet. So we're running Firefox because actually IE isn't working on technical preview 10 for us. I know it is for some other people. That's how bugs are. Uh, this is a work in progress. Probably you don't want to put this on a machine that you're actually using to get stuff done, just so you know. So here's another neat thing here. Down at the taskbar, notice that we have, well, it's not totally new, but we've got our live tile apps running here as little icons too. And they run in windowed mode. No more full screen. And there's search right here, built into the taskbar. And this is multiple desktops. This is not unlike what Mac OS X does. So you can add another desktop if you want and keep going. We're going to switch to our other desktop. So here's the App Store floating in a menu 
a minute a window. If we maximize it, notice you still have your taskbar at the bottom. You still have the title bar up top with the minimize resize function right there. And if we open another app, it's automatically going to open up and size nicely. So, so we want to check out the news. So there it is. It's tucking right in there so we can see both of these side by side. And you can float these apps any size that you want right there. So there it is. The live tiles have become something more like traditional windows in terms of behavior. So all in all, it's well done. And we look forward to see what Microsoft's going to do next. I think that this is going to address the complaints that a lot of you had who just really couldn't make that change from Windows 7 to Windows 8. Windows 10 is going to be a nice move to something in between. A good compromise there. Speed so far is very good, and I have to say for saying that's a very early technical preview, most of it has been pretty stable. So that's Windows 10 technical preview. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Thanks for watching.